Hey, it's your boy Ninja Gavin. In this video, I want to show you the top niches that you should get into after this ep ep epidemic. Uh, once we get over this uh, financial downturn, I think that these niches are going to thrive because people have changed. They're going to have changed the way they see things uh, moving forward. To have to once this uh, whole crisis is over, people are going to learn from this. So. The things you got to understand though is um, when uh, people in uh, under stress or um, feel vulnerable, they're always going to turn back to their survival instincts, which is like kind of the reptilian brain. And in my opinion, these niches are going to survive. So if you look at a broader niche, we'll get into the sub niches in a second. But the broad, I guess the broader niche you could look at. You got food, then you've got um, shelter then you've got security, all right? So with those kind of main uh, categories, we can get into the sub niches. And then if you get uh, look for products that are in those main categories, I think you're gonna do really, really well moving forward. Let's head over to my computer and uh, let's get into it, eh? So we're at amazon.com.au and uh, we're just going to look in the best sellers. I mean, you can have a look around here, hot new releases. Um, just watch my other video on how to get uh, product ideas. Um, that'll be on my channel. So just have a look at that. But um, remember we talked about the main niches, we're going to break down the subcategories to those niches. So we're looking at food, shelter, security. So in no particular order, uh, I think these health and household and personal goods, um, personal care products will be pretty popular um, because uh, people will definitely be buying more products in these categories. So again, you know what I do is I just scroll down and then I just get into the subcategories. All right, so. I think that this niche, this particular niche is gonna be pretty popular. Um, and this is the essential oils niche. Uh, so this is, um, so basically it's just like, uh, um, these essential oils, it puts it's like a nice fragrance in the air. Um, and there's also different subcategories to this as well. So this is like a oil diffuser. People just put like some type of uh, liquid in here and it just starts to, you know, mist, mist up and it makes the air more fresh. All right, so this is gonna be a hot niche. Uh, I would not particularly just get into the exact same products. I would just branch off into different um, different niches of this, like this main niche. So uh, it is a pretty pop popular niche. So you have to really do your research if you're going to get into this. Um, but it's definitely very popular, and people want this type of um, uh, essential oils type of thing. They're very conscious of uh, what they, um, what's in the atmosphere. So that's that's number one, essential oils. So we just go back to best sellers. Um, I also think another one that's gonna be uh, pretty popular, uh, people are conscious of, will be uh, Also air purifiers, all right? So people um, people are gonna be, um, again, conscious of, you know, these type of things that are in the air. Um, and air purifiers basically just uh, purify the air, okay? So again, you just get into these sub niches of these. It looks like many of these products are in the sort of uh, high, high sort of 80 90 dollars so this is a good product um, range to get into um, simply because if you, if you sell you obviously you know items for 80 90 100 dollars um, 
this is really good because that way uh, you make you don't have to sell as many to get the same uh, like to get the volume so for example this one here let's say you had this product here it's uh, eighty six dollars um, you only need like two or three of these and you're already at three hundred dollars uh, you know two to three hundred dollars for the day um, in sales times 30 like you already had 10 grand just about just by selling two or three of these a day okay and you got all the different colors so this is something to look at again you have to do your research get the costing uh, get the prices and use the one third rule so that's air purifiers Okay, I've talked about this before. I think that a lot more people start to get into gardening because they're conscious of the health, the what what they eat, and in a time of crisis, like they're not going to have vegetables, right? So now people are more conscious; they want to eat more organic food. Uh, organic food is very expensive in Australia, but they can easily grow um, organic food. They can start their own garden, and I think that this is going to be a very popular niche. So anything kind of garden related. Again, you have to do your research in this niche because you don't want to just get the same products as everyone else. You want to just um, just get products that uh, that are different, um, that people uh, may not have. So you really have to do your research. This one's a bit of a broad one, but anything garden different. There's so many different like this irrigation kits. Um, then there's tools. Okay, so. Uh, brush cutters and then there's these snips cutters there's lighting garden lighting with hydroponics um, there's tubes uh, it, I mean there's so there's so it's so broad like once you get into one niche then it just kind of expands into another niche okay so these generators they're very popular they're still very popular they were popular on eBay a long time ago and they're still popular so so they're basically a silent generator um, and they're like an inverter so they convert um, they usually run on diesel and then they that convert that to like uh, normal AC power where you can just plug your laptop and all these other things in okay so um, just make sure that if you get this product it has to just make sure it's under 20 22.5 kilos because Amazon just changed their terms and conditions. They're not going to have products that are heavier than 22.5 kilos now. So you want to get, if you get into generators, make sure they're under that, that weight. Then then you're about to send it to, I'm talking about FBA, so then you can send it to FBA warehouse. If it's if it's over, over 22.5 kilos, then you can't send it to FBA. They won't take it anymore. They just changed that. Uh, I just got an email this morning. So ideally it'd be like something smaller all right so this is a high ticket item you could just source something that uh, is pretty uh, something that is smaller and you know uh, there's a lot there's a lot of options out there but definitely this is going to be like these type of things is going to be more popular because um, you know when there's power outages or there's uh, people can't get access to electricity which is like camping People use these for camping as well. All right, see, so if these are around about two or three hundred dollars. You have to be buying these for about fifty USD, um, and then you make like three hundred. That's a, like you only got to sell like one a day, and you're already up to ten grand a month. So uh, you'd have to do your research on this and buy it at the right price. But I think that this this type of product will always be popular. Okay, people are gonna stay at home. They're gonna to wanna to make their own food, all right? Or they wanna make their own bread. So, they wanna bake their own bread. Okay, so you could do like, like, again, once you get into this niche, you could just get into it uh, and find more products. Again, just dig, dig deeper and deeper and deeper. So again, related to the bread, they're going to bake their own bread, then you could look at this uh, bamboo bread slicer. So this is $50, um, you know, 
again there's so many niches within niches within niches which you never even knew about so um, I've just looked on Alibaba here there's not really one that meets the picture so we can just type in bamboo bread slicer again you know this is just to give you ideas if you copy these ideas people are also going to copy it because they're going to watch this video so i'm just gonna give you some ideas and leave it at that um so that's it there basically so this is you know obviously you want to look for a supplier that'll do it for you know you don't want to buy 500 pieces you want to buy less less than that try to get maybe 10 or 20 pieces to start off with if you can just to test it um, but then again see so this is around about seven dollars you might you might pay a little bit more and a little bit less so this one here's folding one so obviously if you buy a thousand pieces they're going to cost you a dollar ninety nine but obviously you're buying a thousand pieces okay so you know this sells for fifty dollars so you can see the massive massive profit there but obviously you're not going to sell many of these uh, in a year you're certainly not going to sell a thousand a year so not on Amazon Australia so you're going to need smaller quantity so you may pay up to 10 US dollars for this but there's still enough profit um, so this is a product to, to, to take a look at it's a uh, it's in the uh, bread making niche and it's a bread slicer but anything related to this bread slicer okay I'm not saying go ahead and get this slicer but this is the niche that you should be looking for. There's another one there, this is a bread toaster slicer. See, so, so just by looking at these products, I'm just finding new products I never knew even existed. And there's another product, just bed, a toast slicer. It's a good idea. Okay, so as you get deeper and deeper into this, but anything related to bread would be a good idea. Okay, another niche that's I think is going to be really popular is the uh, home security niche. So this is again, this is pretty broad, but um, it's it kind of there's a lot of products in this actual niche sub niches. So what you do is you just uh, search home security. Um, you're looking at you're looking at get an idea. So this new range of these. Um, camera surveillance, uh, cheap camera surveillance systems. Um, they're called WISE, W-Y-Z-E. And uh, they're, they're, they're an emerging company. They're very good, uh, they got some very good products. And now there's a, like, there's a sub niche that is within this actual main niche, which is like accessories to these cameras. It's a bit like iPhones and then the industry, uh, it started a sub-industry of iPhone accessories. All right, so a bit like this one here, but just on a small scale, these wise cameras, and then there's now these uh, sub-niches, these uh, personal, um, these protecting cases and different styles, um, different brackets, uh, you know, these, you can suspend them through tripods. But there's a little sub niche that is just grew out of nowhere um, from these cameras so that's something that you might uh, want to look at this one here it's a protective housing for the actual camera itself so these are at about $27 you should be able to buy these for about two or three dollars of Alibaba if you just look around search um, but that's something that you could look at uh, just find a niche, just find a sub niche within a, the main niche of a main category and then just drill down. That's how I find them. All right, so home security uh, products. So what I think is gonna be big is these cleaning products. All right, anything related to cleaning is gonna be like a niche that's gonna really um, people are going to sell a lot of things in this cleaning niche because of you know what's happened with the uh, you know, current pandemic, and people are just going to be more conscious with 
anything that's related to cleaning. Again, um, I wouldn't get into medical stuff, uh, can be a bit risky, but there's a lot of sub niches of cleaning and um, it is a pretty big niche too because if you just look at home cleaning, home cleaning products, home cleaning items and tools and then you got also business as well, business related stuff that, that businesses buy for their businesses and also sell for retail. So it's, it's, it's a really, really big niche uh, and there's a lot of cleaning related products. I mean, you know, there's anything from mop, uh, mop type of products here, you got these duster, shoe duster type of things. Okay, you got this squeezy, uh, stainless steel squeezy copper for the windows. You got these toilet brush holders. Um, you got these uh, laundry brush. Uh, so all this stuff would be pretty cheap to buy off Alibaba. You got these um, sanitizer, like these uh, caddy type of things to put your cleaning products. It's so, there's so many products in this, in this niche, it's unbelievable. Again, you have to do your research, find these little sub niches within this cleaning products. There's a lot here that um, you can um, look at potentially to uh, sell. All right, there's these um, bottles, spray bottles. So, you know, a lot of these spray bottles are gonna be popular. People are gonna buy these to have in their home. Um, so these are empty spray bottles that they'll fill up with uh, disinfectant and, um, and that sort of stuff that spray around the house to keep things clean, right, to kill the germs and everything like that. So anything that's uh, related to cleaning products, sub niches of that, is, I think it's going to sell well, definitely. Another niche I think would be really good is the woodworking niche. Okay, so this one's a pretty big one as well. Uh, it's like a hobby niche. People want, uh, they make this stuff at home. Um, you know, it's like a hobby for them. So uh, in this niche, it's, it's, pretty, it, it's pretty broad. So you've got like hand tools. Um, you've got like uh, these accessories that they would personally wear, um, like aprons and then, you know, subcategories of that. There's different aprons. Um, then you could get like all the tools, drill bits, uh, uh, different types of drill sets. Then you've got the um, chisel sets, you know, to actually work on the actual um, uh, job itself. You know, uh, different type of tools and kits that you can get. Then you got the actual like different um, gadgets within that niche. This thing is like a wood clamp, corner clamp. So there's so it's so it's very niche, and uh, the people are always this is a huge niche. People are always uh, getting into this woodworking, making their stuff from home, making tables and chairs. It's a really big hobby. You got glues, um, you know. So there's so much stuff that it belongs to this niche. Um, so this one here, this is like a a um, glue spreader dispenser all right so you could probably pick this up I don't and this is fifty seven dollars um, so this is in here this is like pretty much the same item uh, this one here is roughly about eighteen dollars um, for this kit if you buy forty eight so you'd probably hunt around to see if you can get a, a lower price somewhere. But yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. See then, so there's so many different items within this niche that you can get. There's, the deeper that you dig, you just, you just open up a whole new world of products you never even knew about. So definitely the um, woodworking niche, all right? So that's something that's gonna be popular. Uh, it's a trend that just keeps on growing. More and more people are getting into it. Okay, so the final niche is office products, specifically home office products. I think that this trend is going to really take off now that we're, you know, we're in this uh, epidemic, and then we're, you know, 
the downturn, people are going to work more from home and they're going to look for products that they can buy, set up a home office uh, where they can work from home. And I think that this is a really good niche to get into because of this trend. Again, it's a long-term trend. So I may not say specific uh, products, but if you're in this niche, then I think that products that are related to this, they're gonna be, they're gonna trend upwards. So, you know, people are gonna buy more of them. Your job is to figure out which actual product in this home office niche is gonna be popular. Um, which you can make some money on. So we've got from mats, we've got, um, you know, uh, this again, this humidifier, which I mentioned earlier, um, caster wheels, uh, office desk organizers, um, chairs, mats, these cushions um, for sitting on. We've got this uh, under the desk racking management table management so that one's interesting let's have a look at this one here so this is under desk so they are uh, I imagine that they would um, okay so it's for all the okay this is a good idea actually they can put all the cables instead of having it on the floor they can just have them hang like underneath all right so this this item I don't think this item would cost that much because it just looks like some wire to me um, I never, I've never known about this niche before. I'm just doing this on the fly. So this one here is powder coated office desk, desk office desk mesh cable. Okay, wire mesh tray. Yeah, very similar kind of. This is more for large scale office, like yeah, large larger scale. But you could find something. Um, more for the home okay so again this is uh, this could be potentially a good product you got uh, different colors and styles if you, you know so that's good you got black white so these things range from three dollars fifty three dollars sixty to two dollars to three dollars four dollars um, so that could potentially be a good product what are they selling this for uh, they're selling this for forty eight dollars so let's just go back here Let's just search, see what else is there. Um, so this could potentially be a good product. Again, see it, see how they've got these clips, organizers, um, all these things that people are going to buy because um, they're going to be at home. They're going to need, they're going to want to be comfortable. They're now working from home, or maybe they're still working full time. But they just um, a lot of employees are now saying, look, you know, you spend two or three days at home uh, so they can save on office uh, space. So I reckon, and, th and there's a lot of these little gadgets type of things in this niche. So I think it's a good little niche if you find the right products. Uh, this office tray could be something that you could look at. Don't forget that product selection is really, really important. So if you start off with really good products, pretty much 90% of your success is the product selection. So with everything, everything that we've just already covered in the video, I think you're gonna be in the right, on the right track you just have to pick the right products. Um, so if you have any questions or uh, concerns, just leave a, a comment below. Uh, if you found some value, uh, click that thumbs up to support the channel. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.